G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about how to set up your Blender d uh, interface to get the best out of Octane Render, um, the plugin for Blender. Um, so we'll be um, uh, rearranging the interface, um, then we'll be following on where all the options are, and some warnings, do's and don'ts. So. First thing is to load up the Blender, the uh, Octane Blender compiled um, that you've downloaded that we used in the previous tutorial. Now, um, depending on how it looks like, um, this is my pre-customed uh, um, interface that I have with the other, um, with the standalone Blender uh, compile. That's just the standard Blender one, that the most updated one. I think I have 2.69 the RC, I think, and this is the way I presented it. Um, just, you know, personal preferences, um, blue and dark and stuff. Um, but depending on what you have, be it be just the default, um, it will still work with the one I have now. So, no confusion, no confusion. So, let's start with just pressing T. Um, we don't need the options bar at all. Uh, second of all, we do not need the timeline, so we can get rid of that. Uh, we can also get rid of the outliner, since we do not need that also. And we're just going to move this over here. Move this tab, so move it down over here. So, what we're pretty much going to do is to recreate the Octane interface, but within Blender. How's that going to work? Well, let's do this. So, grab the corner here, and put it to the side. So you should have two windows open. Next, click on the icon and go to the Materials Live Databases. Yes, we have the Material Databases within Blender. Next is to again cut the 3D viewport and to bring it down. From there, at the bottom, we'll be changing this to the Node Editor. Now, make sure that you press the Use Material so uh, you're in the right one. Yep, that's the right one. And press N to get rid of those options there. So this is the interface we'll be working in. Obviously you can customize it to your liking, but this is the uh, way that I seem to like it. Obviously with UV wrapping, animation, you would obviously open up a new window. I have two monitors however, so that would be a lot more easier for me, but you can easily just cut this in here, get the UV editor up, um, or also get the um, the uh, dope sheet editor, something that Andrew Price usually does, um, that he mentioned in his uh, previous fixing Blender, is to give it more. To not just clock up your interface up with random stuff. But with that being said, um, where I digress, uh, let's show you where the options are. So obviously this is a live database on the side here. Um, this is where you get your prefix materials, whether you want to be lazy, or if you want to check out the awesome materials made by the Octane community. Next is the node editor. Um, this node editor is where you would be using your um, materials and such. Uh, you can also change the world settings um, and use your own custom. The options, uh, which is over here. Um, so let's just see which ones are Octane. So in the render setting, we have Octane's GPU um, uh, list. Uh, you, have a can, you can have a total of eight if you are rich or part of the one percent. Um, you can also um, you also have your global scattering, movable proxy, and as it is, which I'll go into later. Next is the dimensions. Uh, we have um, your classic, you know, presets of dimensions whether we want to be in HD or if you want to try and mimic James Cameron with 4K. Uh, next is the output, that's pretty self-explanatory on how you want to output your scene. Uh, we have all these different file formats, open EXR for the win. Next is you have your, uh, which one is relevant, Octane Render Kernel. Now, uh, the Octane Render Kernel is when you, is pretty much the render kernel within that Octane uses and it has the Defaults, uh, info channel, PMC, path tracing has the in individual options that direct lighting has, along with all of the essentials, alpha channel, 
keep environment and all of the other different variations and options within the rendering kernel that you choose. Next is the camera. So if we were to select the camera, the default camera, it has uh, Octane's properties, um, which we should move up here because it's important. So we have the Octane camera. Uh, you can choose it to be spherical or um, cylindrical that word because I cannot see that far and I cannot say it. Um, also have the aperture, um, distortion and such. Focus which is extremely glitchy. Um, you also have the stereo option. Pretty much all the essentials that um, Octane has. The camera imager. Um, all of the pre even has all of the uh, custom presets for the type of look you want. And the Octane Pro's processor. The glare. Um, so everything is packed in to Octane and that's where all the options are. Mostly spending time in camera and the render options. So next is the uh, materials. So uh, to uh, check out the materials all we have to do is press the um, standard material option. Get rid of all these options that we don't need. Uh, press surface to add your given material. So this is where you get your octane materials. Um, press surface and your diffuse black. Here you have all the octane options you uh, will use such as the shaders, octane textures, emissions, octane medium, transformation. They should put these top ones a bit more bold because it would make it much more obvious they're in the list. Alright so that's pretty much the gist of blend of Octane, the uh, the interface, not the whole entire thing. I um, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, hopefully, you have maybe you can work out your own sort of workflow. But this is the workflow that I'll be working in within the next tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.